What's good guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new build. Today I picked up this 2001 or it might be a 2003. I'm not sure until I get the title for it. Ford F-150 V8 4x4 edition with 200,000 miles, 208 to be exact. And quick story here, this was actually my buddy's truck from elementary school and he ended up wrecking it into the ditch at the end of our property. He took it to the body shop to get it repaired and it sat for over a year. So we're gonna go ahead and check the truck out, check out all the damage and get straight to work. Stay tuned boys.
What's up guys, I'm back. I took about a week off working on cars and I started remodeling our garage. Technically when we moved into the house, it was about 20 years ago and the basement was never finished. So we're having to go back and bring up some of the electrical back to code. And we wanna put some sheetrock, paint the walls white, the ceiling white and the floor, give us some better lighting. But for now we're behind the house underneath the carport. And I kinda wanna make this room into a paint and primer room. We did install a drain and pour a concrete slab which did take about three days. We did it by hand and we still got a lot of work to do. We have to install lights and everything like that. But for now, let's go ahead and check out all the damages. Starting off on the better side of the truck, the driver's side is in pretty good shape. We do have this one damage on the driver door. I guess that was when the fender was pushed back and opening the door, but I'm pretty surprised on how well the paint cleaned up since the truck did sit for a couple years. Underneath some trees, it just took a couple of washes and it's in pretty good shape. There's not like that much dents or scratches that I see on this side. There's some sun fading going on right over here, but that's pretty much expected. And the crazy thing is this is a fiberglass bed, which I did not know, but the truck did also come with some parts. We got bolt doors right over here and they're in really good shape. I don't see any dents on them as of right now. And they're also white, so we're not gonna have to throw sealer. We're just gonna go ahead and shoot them with base coat. So moving on to the passenger side, it looks like the paint is a whole lot nicer, which doesn't even matter. We're probably still gonna end up blending this bed since we do have this pillar damage right over here. Luckily, it didn't get to the roof. It looks like when we get the new doors on, those should seal up just fine. We do have to get a new windshield and pretty much the front clip of the truck, which we already got one fender, but parts are pretty easy to find. So the interior doesn't look too bad. I'm sure it's gonna clean right up. We got the full leather seats with two deployed airbags and a seat belt. I'm pretty sure the passenger one is good. And we're also gonna have to get the module reset. But check this out. This truck came with adjustable foot pedals. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before, but this truck was pretty loaded back in the day. I think he said he paid 17,000 for it 10 or 15 years ago which is pretty crazy. We're not even gonna have that in the Cummins once we get wheels and tires on it. I'm pretty sure I'll do a price reveal, but it's not gonna be nowhere near that. But quick update on that, we did end up failing inspection. They don't like that we painted the doors in the bed, so we're gonna have to figure something out. But for now, let's go ahead and jump on these doors. Right, guys so we got the door stripped down pretty much like you'd get them from the dealer other than this window guide we're gonna leave it in place it's not gonna be in the way we're only gonna be painting to like this third edge right over here and the door panel is gonna cover everything else up quick little tip on how I got the window to roll down just apply you 12 volts to the window regulator reverse the wires and it'll go up and down so that's a pretty cool hack now let's go ahead and clean these up get all the dirt and grime off and then we'll jump on with the 320 and start sanding these suckers down That's a wrap for this episode. 
We got the door sanded and pretty much prepped for some paint, but we do have to take care of some damages here and there. I know I said there wasn't any, but that's pretty much expected. These doors laid around for over a year, and sometimes you buy parts from the dealer with damages, so we'll take care of all this. Again, apologize, we got a bunch going on. We actually bought our first real estate property, so I'm super excited about that. And then we also gotta install lights and finish remodeling our garage, which we'll take care of in the next episode. With all this said, thanks guys for all the love and support. Do what you gotta do, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching, I'm out. I'll see you on the next one.